Hello guys, welcome back to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at a game that was recently released called Racket NX. This game is amazing. I love it. I've been playing it for several hours and basically it's a cross between racquetball or squash and pinball of all things. And the gameplay is amazing. Let's take a look at it yeah. right now. When you first launch Racket NX, you'll see this. It's basically telling you the audio is in Welcome 3D to as well. NX. So be sure and pay attention to where sounds are coming from. Pull we'll tap the settings. You can adjust the audio levels for the sound effects. The voice chat, I'm going to crank it up. And the music, you can adjust that. Also, you can turn your mic off or on if you want. You can even go into this here and set the music to play your own mp3s. If you want to copy your own mp3s to a directory on the Oculus Quest, you can certainly do that. But personally, I love the music that's in here, so I'm not going to change that. You have arcade, you have solo, and then you have multiplayer, and this is where it really shines. But let's go ahead and go into the arcade and just check it out quickly. There's two modes. You got Classic and Zen. We'll go ahead and hit Classic. Look at the graphics here. Wow. <laughs> Basically, you're inside this large dome. You score points by hitting these orange and yellow brightly colored objects. And to increase your energy levels, you hit the little plus signs, the little blue plus signs. It may seem simple, but <laughs> trust me, it's not. It's very immersive and quite challenging. My goal in this video is to show you primarily what the gameplay is like. The more you play it, the more you figure out new maneuvers, new ways of manipulating the ball to do exactly what you want. You hold the trigger button to bring the ball to you so you can hit again. It takes a bit of practice at first, but the more you play it, the easier it gets, and the better you are at the game. I have had a few instances where the game just seemed to exit. Um, but I think it's more of an issue with the Oculus Quest itself. I've seen it with other games as well. Not just Racket NX. So. Hopefully that's something that uh, either Oculus or Racket NX takes a look at and how they can improve. But it's only happened a couple times, and I've played it for several hours, probably a total of about four hours. But just relaunching the game takes me right back where I was. Just want to make sure I mention that. You hear the little heartbeat type sound right now? That's telling me my health is or my energy level it has drained. Now it's back up and I can continue playing. But if my energy were to drop all the way, then of course the game's over. I can hit the little touch controller joystick and the menu pops up and then I can go over here and click forfeit and exit the game. Let's go back to Arcade and take a look at Zen. And this is a more relaxing mode of playing the game. And notice when you hit the orange and yellow type colors, it turns into flowers. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> I guess if you wanted something really relaxing and just kind of play for for a long period of time, this might be a great way to play it.
but we'll go ahead and exit. And let's just jump into the multiplayer mode. You guys want to see that? This is without a doubt my favorite way of playing. Opponent found. We'll just jump in here. Hello, how are you? Hello. <laughs> All right. So now we're playing online with someone else. Where are you from? Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Awesome. I'm from Alabama. Nice. Now his ball is blue, mine is orange. And it basically rotates from one player to the next. So when it's your color, it's your turn swing. Make the best shot you can. Both players start out with a score of 500. As the levels proceed, the other person gets more points which will decrease yours and vice versa. Oh no. And make sure you have your batteries and your controllers charged up. Mine just died. Dang. I'll be right back. Fortunately, I was able to return to the game and so. he hadn't left, so we were able to finish. You also notice these little space invader looking characters. What uh, system do you use it on? I'm um, using an Oculus Quest. How about you? Check my... What? Sorry. A Quest. Oh yeah, same. See the little Space Invader guys? Those oh take God, energy man. away from you. So you want to avoid those. You get those little plus signs. Boost your health and score a little bit. And the splash damage just increases the damage when the ball hits. So you can see he's making some really good shots. And I don't have the same power up as he does. Wow. Good shot. really amazing to play this game. It's people all over the world. I played the other day with uh, someone from Finland and it was fun talking to him. Splash damage. And to play this on the Oculus Quest, I mean, you have full 360 degree movement, so this game was absolutely made for the Oculus Quest. Or maybe the Quest was made for this game. I don't know. But it's the perfect combination. It really is. If I could only have one game right now on my Quest, this would be it. Precise. It's really that much fun. Especially in multiplayer mode. I mean, the offline modes are fun too, but multiplayer is really where it's at. Time's up. Time's up. Round two complete. Good round. Score one to one. All right. Well, in my opinion, this game is absolutely a ten out of ten. I highly recommend it. Check it out. Thank you for watching.